Hi, my name is Ian Wardle, and this is Kevin Dom. We both have environmental companies here in Vancouver, British Columbia. Mine's called Effective Environmental Solutions. Kevin's to Save the Oceans. We're going to take a couple of minutes today to show innovative, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly ways to deal with oil spills. Kevin's going to take a moment to show how well this works. We're gonna, today we're going to show you a couple of things. Uh, one is how to clean up oil on water, and one is on the beach, the two major areas with some innovative technology. Now, if I can borrow Ian here for a sec, if you can, we're going to make a, a nice little uh, mess. I'd like you to pour some oil in the water, so this simulates oil floating on water. This is a very heavy oil we're using a transmission, and pour some in our simulated beach sand, which I got from my aquarium, and uh, you'll see the oil is just oozing in there nicely making it all sticky. Now, the biggest problem we have with oil spills is that it's sticky. It sticks to the birds, it sticks to beaches, and so on. And what we're doing today is we use a material called polypropylene, which just grabs the oil on the outside and it, it still basically remains sticky. So if we were to use more advanced uh, chemistry today that's uh, much greener, what we could do is basically grab all the oil very quickly and then be able to uh, pick it up and recycle it. Now if you could uh, come down here Ian, I'd like your help. I'd like you to show this material. What this powder is, this is a polymer. We make running shoes, chewing gum, paint. It's all made from polymers. Now this is specific, designed to float on water. So if you pour some in there, you see it starts flowing on the, the oil. Just pour a whole bunch in, you can spread it around. And what's happening is the material is, it's actually a chemical reaction where it bonds, it solidifies. You could even use your spoon if you want and just uh, mix it around. It's actually growing like a, a pyramid. And you'll see it all clumps together. Now, the, the interesting part is it actually bonds and so it's no longer sticky. And that means it's not going to glue. Even if it got left in the environment, it wouldn't matter. I mean, ideally you clean it up. But basically, it allows you to capture and recycle. Now, while that's going on, why don't we do our, our second uh, little explanation where we'll go to the beach. We'll just let that solidify a bit more. And I'm going to bring this big container in here for you in. And what I'd like you to do is take this new product here. This is a new invention I created called Flubber Dust. And it's really neat. It doesn't just grab the oil. It actually is an anti-slip. And it's a floor cleaner at the same time. So you have this on your toolbox and garages and automotive centers. Whenever they have a spill, they just sprinkle it on and it grabs the oil. Well, it says it naturally eats the oil. Can you tell us more about that, Kevin? Well, that's, that's the cool part. Most We know most spills, they get thrown in the garbage. With this, if the bacteria attaches to it, and it's actually biodegrading it. It's the same natural bacteria that grows around places like the tar sands, and that's how oil, nature contains oil. So, right. yeah, so you basically have the best of both worlds. You're cleaning up your floor, you're cleaning up your oil, and you're eliminating the pollution, which ultimately is way more cost effective. You know, a clean shop is a profitable shop. So this is made of all natural ingredients, and the bacteria eats the oil, so it's that much more environmentally friendly, correct? Yeah. You're actually taking pollution right out of the environment. Wow. So okay. that's really yep. cool. Now, it's also a really neat property. It's a coagulant. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where you'd use it in a beach spill. If you go back to your material there, mm -hmm. what I'd like you to do is take this here, and I want you to pour a whole bunch in. You can actually just open the cap right up. And we're going to clean beach rocks. You see, beach rocks, the oil's on the outside, so pour a whole bunch in there. Oh, okay, that should do the trick. And I want you to shake it around, or you could use a spoon, I suppose. Get it all mixed together. And we're going to transfer. We're going to transfer the oil from the material uh, into the flubber dust. So the flubber dust is actually cleaning the rock, and it's grabbing the oil, and it's going to biodegrade. Okay. Uh, this isn't long enough. I'm just going to get something longer to stir this up. Yeah, so you want to dig down and grab all the oil. It just wants to bind itself together. It's a, it's a really neat reaction because it's a capillary reaction, basically. So all the oil is being bound into the matrix, and, and it, it's holding on to it, and that way the bacteria can go to work. So imagine you had a lot of beach rocks and beach sand. What we're, we're trying to do is create a transference. So we've got that pretty, pretty gooed up there. You can see, people can see it's really got the bulk of the oil. You need to scrape it a little bit more, or what do we bit. got here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. looks as if it's pretty good. Yeah, you can get it. you got one big chunky on the bottom there a little bit. If you threw this in a cement mixer or something, it would happen a lot faster. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Why don't you just throw it in the screen? I think that gets the point across. See, basically all we're doing is we're cleaning rocks. Yeah, just dump the whole thing in. 
And what we'll do is give it a shake. Okay, that's enough. You can shake it out. I'll just take your screen there and give it a good, good shake. In. And what you're trying to do is get all the chunkies, and you can see it's all flowing through the, right to the bottom. Basically, the rocks are being cleaned, and of course, the dust is much smaller and is going to fall through, and we're going to be left basically with rocks. I'm just going to move my hand to speed up the process a little bit. You know, basically, the oil is being debonded, and it's coagulating it in, in effect. So it's all dropping out to the bottom, and you basically end up with clean beach rocks, and that's the big, most like important that. job. Clean beach rock. Yeah, look at your hand. You notice there's no goo on there? No, there's no goo and, on there at all. And any residual, of course, the bacteria is going to eat it. So we've ended the waste stream. We've ended the pollution, and that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. right, we clean it up. So why don't we go back to our, uh, our on-water oil spill. And as you can see, if you have a look there, mm -hmm. you'll notice it's all turned into big clumps, and it's not sticking to the sides. So why don't you just pour it through this little ladle here, and you can actually see, oops, well, the material's getting through the ladle too. We may, might have used a cleaner one. But have a look, why don't you stick your finger in there and show people how you've actually collected. It feels like a powdery kind of dust. There's it's like oatmeal, you could eat it. <laughs> 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 but basically, it's you know you, you've ended the the, the no oil on my hands. That's the trick. We've rendered it non-sticky. The most important thing that protects the birds and everything else. And we've done it on water and on land. We've got zero pollution. So if we adopted this technology in every major oil spill, we'd save time, we'd save money, we'd save the environment, and it would be done ten times faster. That's the important key. So there you go. Thanks very much, Kevin. This yeah. is a great addition to the toolbox of anybody that needs to clean up some oil. Awesome.